Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel. I'm now answering question number seven, part A, or seven, from the May-June 2019 IGCSE 0580, paper four, variant two. And this question here is about, some, some of it is about angles in polygons, and some of it is about trigonometry, it's a bit of a mixture. So part A says, show that each interior angle of a regular polygon is 108 degrees. So when you have polygons, and there's polygons here, and there's actually a pentagon here, so I'll use this diagram to illustrate what I'm saying. You have interior angles, and you have what are called exterior angles. Now, the exterior angles would be the angles that would be formed if you extend the lines on the outside like this. Okay, so I'm just going to extend them all just to illustrate the issue here. All right, so... The exterior angles would be these angles, and the interior angles would be those angles. Those are the exterior angles, and those are the interior angles. Now, we can see that the exterior angle plus the interior angle on each corner make a straight line, so they add up to 180. Now, what is um, special about the exterior angles is that in any polygon, okay, in any polygon, the sum okay, of exterior angles will always be 360 degrees. If I was to add this angle with this angle, with this angle, with that angle, no matter how many sides they have, the polygon has, whether it has three sides or like a triangle, or whether it has, you know, a million sides, when I add the exterior angles together, they'll always give me a sum of 360, okay? So it's easy for us to find the size of each exterior angle. It's just going to be 360 divided by the number of sides, the number of angles. The number of angles is the same as the number of sides. If there's a pentagon, a pentagon has five sides, okay? So there's five angles as well. So 360 divided by five is going to give me the size of each interior, each exterior angle, if it's a regular polygon, a pentagon. A regular polygon has all sides the same length and all angles the same size. So all the exterior angles will be equal to each other, all the interior angles will be equal to each other. So this will give me the size of one exterior angle in a regular pentagon. Now, if I want to find the interior angle, I just have to do 180 minus the exterior angle. Because if this is 360, if this is 360 divided by 5, then this is going to be 180 minus that because it add up to 180. So 180 minus the size of each interior, exterior angle will give me the interior angle. So this is 180 minus 72. 5 goes into 36. 7 times the remainder 1, so 72. And that gives me 108 degrees. So there's the answer to part A. Okay? So that's hopefully something that is quite clear. All right, so we have 180 minus 360 over 5. Okay, which is 180 minus 72 which is equal to 108. Okay, so that's the answer to part A. And I'm going to do part B. Let me move this up here and get rid of some of this. So I've got some more. I just made those to illustrate for part A, so I'll get rid of these exterior angles now. Okay, so hopefully that was clear. Now for part B, it says, the diagram shows a regular pentagon, A, B, C, D, E. Okay, the vertices of the pentagon lie on a circle, center O. Okay, they lie on a circle, center O. All right, so each of the vertices lie on the circumference of a circle, which is center O. So it's like inscribed within this circle, you could say. The radius of the circle is 12 centimeters. M is the midpoint of BC. Find BM. So there's a few things we've got to understand. The length from O. O to A and O to B and O to C is 12. Okay, so I could draw a line from here to here. From O to B. Okay, I could draw a line from there to there. Okay, and that line would be 12 centimeters long because the radius is 12 centimeters. So O to A and O to B are both the radius, so that's 12 centimeters. Okay, and I know that um, this angle is a right angle because it says 
um, it tells us M is the midpoint of BC. Whenever you have the radius meeting a chord at its midpoint, if a radius ever cuts a chord into two equal halves, okay, then it cuts at 90 degrees. That's one of the rules that we should know about chords and, and uh, radiuses. So when a chord is, is um, like uh, intersected at 90 degrees by the radius, okay, then it's been cut into two equal halves. So if I know this is the midpoint of BC where this line cuts the chord, this line that comes from the center, the radius, it's like this would be the radius up to there. The radius cuts the chord at its center, that means it's cut it at 90 degrees. So for, for sure, this is 90 degrees. Okay, so I know also, another thing I know is that um, the angle over here has been cut in half, this angle here, because it's regular. So this angle, I know the whole thing was 108, as we worked out. The interior angle is 108. Okay, so half the angle is 54. So we can say that angle OBM is equal to 108 divided by 2, which is 54 degrees. So we end up with this right angle triangle that looks like this. OMB. O B M or O M B. That's a right angle triangle. Okay, here we have a right angle. This is O. This is M. This is 12 centimeters. This is B. This angle here is 54 degrees. And we want to find what VM is. So we can use here trigonometry. We can use trigonometry. We have a right angle triangle. We know the side which is adjacent to the angle given. We know the hypotenuse. So we can use SOCATOA, the one that has adjacent and hypotenuse. Which one is it? Well, it's the cosine. We don't say cosine. Cosine of an angle is adjacent over hypotenuse. So we say the cosine of the angle, 54, is equal to the adjacent, which is x, over the hypotenuse, which is 12. So x will be 12 times cosine of 54 degrees. So we do 12 times cosine of 54. We make sure that we're in degree mode, which we are, equals, and we get the answer 7.053. So x equals 7.0534. We want to round to 3SF unless otherwise stated. So that's fine, 7.05 centimeters. So that's the answer for the length BM. Okay, that's part B, B part one. Then B part two says OMX and ABX are straight lines. OMX and ABX, they're both straight lines. Find the length of BX. Okay, we want to find the length BX here. Okay, let's call that length Y. All right, so what do we know? We already learned that this angle, this is this length here is. 7.05 i'll write it to a slightly more accurate form we know that this length bm is 7.0534 uh, we know this is a right angle okay because as we mentioned this cuts at right angles we know that this angle is the exterior angle of the regular uh, pentagon which is going to be 72 degrees as we worked out up there okay the, the exterior angle was 360 over 5 which is the 72 part Okay, so that's the exterior angle because the interior angle is 108. So again, we have a right angle triangle and we want to find the hypotenuse and we know the, we know the side that's adjacent. This is the adjacent, this is the hypotenuse, this is the adjacent. So it's the same ratio we're going to use, but we've got to be careful here because remember the cosine of the angle, so cosine of 72 is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So it's going to be 7.0534. Don't use 7.05, use it to a higher degree of accuracy at least one or two more significant figures, so at least 7.053 or 7.0534, or use the exact value in your calculator button, that's fine, divided by the hypotenuse, which we've called y. Now, in this case, it's not the same as that case. Here, the, what was unknown was on top. Here, what's unknown is underneath. So we have to basically rearrange this. We multiply both sides by y and divide both sides by cosine 72, so in the end, it will look like this. It will be 7.0534 divided by cosine 72, not times. In that case, it's the, the length times the cosine of the angle because we're finding the adjacent. Whenever you're finding the hypotenuse, it's going to be the opposite. You have to divide. So it's going to be 7.053 divided by cosine 17, not, not times it. Okay, so then that gives us... Now, I've already got this first answer in my calculator. So I'm going to put this divided by the answer 
That's a calculated answer that I just got divided by the cosine of 72. And that will give us the value of y, which is 22 bx, 22.82. So y is equal to 22.825. So that's to 3SF, 22.8 centimeters. That's from b to x. Okay. And then it says calculate the area of triangle AOX, this whole triangle. Okay. So for this whole triangle, what I can do is as follows. Okay. I can think about, let me see, the easiest way to do this, I think. I know this angle here. Okay. I know what this angle is. Okay. I also know what this angle is. Okay. This angle is 54. I know this length is 12. I know the length from there to there. Okay. Is 22.8. And I know the length from A to B is twice B to M. Okay. Because these are all equal. That's halfway. That's so AB is two times B to M. So I have a triangle that looks like this. Okay. I have a triangle that looks like this. Something like that. Not drawn that well. Let me just continue on. Okay. So I have this triangle. This is A, O, X. We need to find the area of this whole triangle. As I mentioned, this is 12 because it's the radius. This is 54 degrees because it's, it's a half of the interior angle. Um, I know that this length from A to B, B is somewhere over here. I know this is 2 times the length B to M up to here. And I know this is, this is the length we just found, which is... Uh, the length 22.825 okay so I know I know um, these values here so when I add them together I can get the whole length so let's get the whole length it's going to be 22.825 plus 2 times 7.0534 plus 2 times 7.0534 That's going to be the total length over here. So let's have a look. So I've got that 22.82 plus 2 times. And what I can do is, to make it exact, I can just take this same calculation again here. That's 12 cosine 54. 12 cosine 54. And that gives me 36.932. So that's 36.932. All right, so I have now a triangle. I know two sides and the angle between them. So I can use the formula. The area is a half times the sine, um, a half times AB sine times sine C. A half AB sine C. A half times AB times sine C. So this is a half times one length, which is 12, times the other length, which is 36.932, times the sine of the angle between them, which is 54. And that should give me my total area. So I'm going to um, I'll have this times this times 12 times 6, because it's half of 12 is 6, times the sine of 54. And that will give me my answer 179.272. 179.272. So to 3SF, 179 square centimeters. And that is the answer to this question. Okay, so I basically, I found the length from there to this. There's probably other ways of doing this, by the way. But I think this is probably the easiest way. I found the length from A to X. Because we already know B to X. We found it here. We know A to B is twice B to M. We already found B to M. So we can find the whole of the length, which is 36.932. We know O to A is the radius. We know this 54 degrees is a half of the interior angle, which is 108 degrees. So therefore, we can say a half times A, B, sine C. And we get our answer. And that concludes this question, I think. Yep, that's the end of the question number seven, which was asked for me to answer by one of the students. Um, other questions from this paper, if I get to answer them, will be in the playlist, which I'll look, I will link over here. Other questions from the topic of polygons, I'll put a playlist for polygons here, and I'll put a, a playlist for trigonometry over here. 
okay and also for sine and cosine rules over here so it's like a mixture of those things here all all in this question um thank you for watching and see you soon